So you've decided you want to switch to Linux for photography. Here are some points that I feel you should know when making that change. One is you should know with the raw editors like Darktable, Raw Therapy, Art, um, the camera support is fairly good. The lens correction support is good. But you will run into the issue of if you want, if you're that kind of person that has gear acquisition syndrome, gas, you will run into the issue of the latest and greatest cameras not being supported. I've got images that I've edited here in Darktable that I'm showing here. Just to show the kind of quality you can get, you can get very, very good quality from uh, Darktable and the other raw editors. Um, but as far as that, uh, processing of your raw files, uh, until you've came up with your style that you can save as a preset, which all raw editors, commercial programs and everything, all support saving presets. Until you've came up with those presets, editing your photos will take longer because the software is not as fast. Um, and in terms of retouching an image, you do have, I would honestly say, really only GIMP. Uh, Krita is more of a painting program, but you can do some compositing work with that program. However, GIMP, if the image is extremely high resolution and you don't have a very powerful computer, GIMP will run slow because it's not, it has the ability to use GPU acceleration through OpenCL, but it's using your CPU to draw the uh, preview on the canvas inside of GIMP. So that is actually, it slows the uh, real-time editing process down. But you can get extremely high-end results. Me, myself, even though I do use some commercial software, uh, I find myself always using GIMP, especially for thumbnails. You know, as you can see, you know, you will have some issues with uh, performance. However, you will be able to just, if your camera's supported, you'll have the freedom of just using the software you want without having to constantly shell out money every single year for either a version upgrade or a monthly fee or an annual fee for a subscription because even a program I have always preferred to use which is Capture One Pro they will no longer offer me a discount for a perpetual license upgrade they will offer me a discount only if I do the annual subscription I do not want to pay an annual subscription, so I've actually resorted to install Adobe DNG Converter inside of Wine so that if you have a camera like I'm recording with, the Panasonic Lumix S5 II, you can convert the RAW files to a DNG, which is just a duplicate of the file in a DNG format and it retains all the lens information and everything like that. You can then edit that raw file in Darktable, Raw Therapy, or Art, or any of the other raw editors that are on Linux, but those are the three main ones. You have full ability to do color management on Linux, in, at least on the X11 desktop. If you want to calibrate and profile your monitor, I would honestly currently recommend to stay away from using Wayland as your display compositor uh, and make sure you're running an X11. This is more advanced stuff. I can do a video on that if anyone would like to see that. However, I have developed the style for my photo editing that I developed inside of Capture One and have moved over to mainly dark table. So I have style presets I can just apply to an image and get the color tone I like. 
and then I just, you know, adjust my exposure and other things, but you know, it's, I kind of try to get my exposure correct in camera. You will run into the programs being slower. However, Linux is definitely something once you get into it, you will just have more freedom as far as what you're doing with your images and you won't have to be tied to a program for a monthly fee. You can take that money and invest in lenses. You know, me personally, the camera systems that I've used, um, I now am just pretty much investing in lenses and I'm actually going to be investing in an older camera for the resolution of that camera, which all the open source software does use. You know, once you're on Linux, you just got to change your mindset that you do need to learn the software and don't expect it to hold your hand and do stuff for you, but you can definitely, definitely get the results. Let me know, is there anything on Linux you would like to know in terms of, you know, things that you may or may not like? Because the biggest thing you're losing going to Linux is access to the AI stuff where it auto masks different areas of the image like in the new Lightroom. It can mask the skin on the face, the eyes, the eyebrows, the hair. I mean it's it's kind of crazy what this AI software does now. Open source stuff may eventually go down that route but we'll have to see me personally. You know I just have kind of a style I adhere to and I tend to not veer away from it much anymore. But let me know. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know some future content you would like to see regarding Linux. I am going to do a lot of tutorials, uh, but I will be doing some uh, out in the world, just uh, street photography, different things, some behind the scenes videos, and I hope to actually show people more ability to use Linux, but I may do some comparisons to open source software, but there's just some points there that I wanted to make regarding switching to Linux is, you know, you'll get great results and you'll save money to invest in your lenses. But Stay tuned for another video where I will probably actually be showing color grading some footage inside of DaVinci Resolve. Like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.